Hello, Lord Free Friends. How are you, Terry, Charlotte, Evan, Luca, Ayana, and Frankie, and Louise? Did you have a good weekend? I hope you did. How was your Easter? If you're celebrating, I hope you had a great time with your families. And today we are going to read two books. One is about Easter, which was yesterday. I thought you might want to hear this story. And then the other big, uh, the other book that we are going to read will be the vegetable soup. Okay, the first one is called Llama Llama Easter Egg. That's the book. It starts as Llama Easter Llama Spring. What does Easter morning bring? Look at the llama looking at the Easter bag. Chocolate bunnies and jelly beans. Look at they're searching on the playground. Eggs in yellows, pinks, and greens. They're searching for the eggs on in the on the grass. Guess who they are going egg hunting. Time to hunt with careful eyes. And llama finds. See, they're looking for more eggs. And then I think llama found something special. Do you see that? It's a nest with the eggs. A big surprise. First a crack and then leg. I wonder what's coming out of that egg. Eggs actually hatching. Ooh. Llama llama Easter egg. They found the actual egg that a baby bird is hatching. What a special moment, right? They get to witness a bird getting hatched. That was a good book, wasn't it? I loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wonder, did you go egg hunting or did you have fun or maybe decorated eggs? If you did, that would be so great. If you're not, still you had so much fun with your family. So that's a great idea too, right? That's good. And the next story that we want to read is called Growing Vegetable Soup. Growing Vegetable Soup. Since we are talking about gardening, we could even garden the vegetable, right? We can plant the vegetable. See, we are ready to work and our tools are ready too. There is a rake and shovel and hoe. First one is a rake. Second one is a shovel. And third one is called hoe. We are planting the seeds. See, in order to plant a seed, we need several things. We need seed package. We need a soil, which is otherwise called the dirt. And we need a hole. We dig the hole and put the seeds in, which is it's up to you. But here it has a green beans seed, pea seed, corn seed, zucchini squash seed, and carrot seed. And in order to plant the seed, you cannot do it with a bare hand. You need to wear garden gloves. So if you look at this pages, you can see all that, right? All the things that you need. You have a seed, you have a garden gloves on, and you dig up the hole and you put the each different kind of seeds in. And what do we need next? And 
all the sprout. This time, we are putting more seeds in with the different vegetables. Here, we need a sh we need a trowel to dig up the hole and putting the seeds in. Right? In this picture, they are planting the broccoli, tomato, potato eyes, which is also gonna be like the seeds for potato. Set of onions, pepper, and cabbage. And for these, you might need uh, not just the seed, you might need to have a uh, actual peat moss pot, which is little container for them to grow in the on underground with the other dirt. So if you can see this picture, you can see all that, right? That is great. And then the next, and do you know what you need in order for them to grow? What do we need? Yeah, water, right? Yes, so and giving them water. So in order to water them, you need a watering can. See, look at the picture. The person is gardening by pouring the water from the watering can, right? It kind of looks like a sprinkling shower, right? They need enough water for them to grow it. And the next one says, and in order for them to grow, you need water. And what do you need? What do you think we need? Sun, right? Yes. We need the sun for them to grow. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. Look, there's a sun and I can see all the vegetables are growing. It's so fascinating, isn't it? And watch them grow. They are growing on the soil. It's growing taller. And then grow into plants. Look at this, all the things that's growing. Here we have a stake and a net for pea to grow. Pea needs a little bit of a support in order for them to grow. Yes, it's very thin, so they need like a, some kind of a stick or stack, steak for them to grow. And there's zucchini growing and squash blossom. Yes, did you know that before it becomes a squash, they are actually a flower first? Yes, look at that. That's interesting, right? And then we watch over them and weed with a hand grubber. See all the broccoli and green beans growing. And sometimes you might find a worm too. Right? That is great. I love that. And then until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. So when they are done with it, we can pick out. And then we can do, we can even cook or we can even give to somebody, right? In order to pick it up or harvest it, you need a hand basket to pick it up with your gloves on. See? The person here is picking the tomato, pepper, and corn. They're putting it into the basket. What fun! Or you can pick it up, or the other way to do it is dig it up. Yes, with the spading fork. Yes, sometimes it's under the ground, so it might be hard to pick it up with just a hand. So you need the help from the spading fork to kind of dig the dirt up 
to give us space for the vegetable to come out. So as you can see it here, carrots and tomatoes sometimes are really hard to take it out. So you would need a little spading fork to dig it up. And then you put it in the bushel basket. That is also very interesting. And then what do you do? You can carry it home. And then wash them because it came out of the dirt. So you might need to wash it really clean, right? You don't want to eat it with the dirt on it, right? <laughs> that would be silly. So in here, you can see they have picked the cabbage, they have picked the squash, and they are put it into the pail and they're going to be washing it so it can be clean and cut them and put them in a pot of water hmm i wonder what they are making in order for them to do that they need a soup pot and then they need a soup ladle and all different kinds of vegetables. You can see carrots, you can see cucumber, broccoli, and lettuce, and what else? <gasps> Potato, green bean, and pea, and tomato, and corn, and pepper. So many vegetables, isn't it? Whoa, it's gonna be so yummy. and cook them into vegetable soup. Everything goes into the pot and they boil it. And when they boil it, it gets hot. And then there's a steam coming out, right? That is so, so good and will be smell so yummy. Don't you think so? And then finally, at last, it's time to eat it all up. Yum, 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 yum. It was the best soup ever. See, mom has put the vegetable soup in a bowl and you can eat it with a soup spoon. Look at that. That is so delicious. Doesn't it look delicious? I love that. I love this book a lot. Did you? And then it says, and we can grow it again next year. Yes, that's true. If you want to have a more vegetable, since you harvest everything, you picked it up, you would have to grow again for you to make another vegetable soup for next year, right? Yes, that would be so fun. What your favorite vegetable? Do you have a favorite vegetable? Me, I like tomato and potato. Ooh, that's tongue twisting, right? Potato, tomato, potato, tomato. <laughs> that was fun, yes. So today's story was two stories. Did you like both of them? One was about the Easter, and the other one was about the vegetables. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you are having a great time with your family. I hope you are going to have a wonderful day with a yummy dinner. Oh, I just noticed that Terry had a birthday. Happy birthday, Terry! I hope you enjoyed your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Terry. Happy birthday to you. That's great. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.